Despite Elon Musk's desire to move out of California and sell all of his properties there, Tesla, on the other hand, is uninterested in leaving California just yet. So instead, Tesla has begun the construction on its mega factory, a new manufacturing site in California that will create its large-scale battery system, the Megapack. Tesla's Megapack, a large-scale energy storage device used by large-scale sustainable energy products to store excess energy produced by solar panels, will be manufactured at the plant. Gigafactory Nevada now produces all of Tesla's battery packs for its energy business, including Powerwall, Power Packs, and Mega Packs. However, it appears that Tesla will expand its operations to California. The mayor of the city of Lathrop verified the factory's existence in a Facebook post, later deleted and reposted. We are proud to be the home of the Mega Factory, Tesla's most recent expansion here. Green energy will be produced right here, in our town in the future. This development will bring our city greater income, more job possibilities for our inhabitants, and a brighter future for our world. Tesla Club of San Joaquin Valley shared images of the mega factory for the first time on Facebook 209 times. The facility is in Lathrop, a city in Northern California, just a short drive from Fremont where Tesla's main electric vehicle manufacturing factory is located. It also houses Tesla's distribution center, which is housed in a different building. The mayor of Lathrop has also uploaded some photos relating to the groundbreaking ceremony that confirmed the new factory would be producing Tesla Megapacks. The Megapack, Tesla's third stationary energy storage product, after the Powerwall and Powerpack, with a 1.5 megawatt inverter and storage capacity of up to 3 megawatt hours was launched two years ago. According to Tesla, Megapack simplifies the installation and connection process for large scale battery storage systems. Megapacks come fully assembled from the factory with up to 3 megawatt hours of storage and 1.5 megawatts of inverter capacity. Leveraging Powerpack's engineering with an AC interface and a 60% improvement in energy density compared to comparable battery systems and traditional fossil fuel power plants to generate significant cost and time savings. With its mega pack, Tesla claimed that now it could deploy much more significant energy storage projects much quicker. With mega pack, Tesla can build a 250 megawatt, 1 gigawatt hour emissions free power plant on a 3 acre footprint in less than 3 months, 4 times faster than a standard fossil fuel power plant of that size. Megapack can also be directly DC connected to solar systems, allowing for the creation of seamless renewable energy plants. The software and machine learning technology powering the energy storage solutions were also discussed. To monitor, regulate and monetize the Megapack installations, Tesla created its software in-house. PowerHub, Tesla's advanced monitoring and control platform for large-scale utility projects and microgrids, and AutoBidder, Tesla's machine learning platform for automated energy trading, are both compatible with Megapacks. Tesla customers have already dispatched more than 100 gigawatt hours of energy in global electrical markets using the AutoBidder. In addition, Megapack continues to improve through a combination of over-the-air and server-based software updates, just as Tesla vehicles benefit from ongoing software updates over time. Tesla announced that the Megapack would be employed in the planned mass landing project in California with Pacific Gas and Electric Company. The Tesla community has been abuzz with rumors of a Megapack production factory for a couple of weeks, when well-known insider Sawyer Merritt claimed that the manufacturer was ramping up plans to build a new facility to produce Megapacks using Ketel Prismatic LFP batteries. The rumors appear to be true, especially since the facility's existence has been proven in some images posted online. Surprisingly, the building of a separate Megapack plant may have been anticipated. Earlier this year, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk announced that the Megapacks had been sold out until the end of next year, indicating that the energy storage device is in great demand for sustainable energy projects. In addition, Tesla has introduced the Megapack to its website, 
making it easier for businesses to order them. Each one costs roughly $1 million. The most notable energy projects on Earth that have used the Megapacks include those in Victoria, Australia, Mars Landing and the UK. Tesla isn't only increasing the Megapack production capacity to keep up with the predicted demand, it's also thinking about obtaining the supply of semiconductor chips, which are required to create both solar power storage batteries and electric vehicle batteries. However, Tesla also claims that cell availability may stifle its ability to make batteries quickly. As a result, according to Mr. Musk, Tesla has had to make some difficult decisions to compensate for supply chain difficulties. We use a lot of the same chips in the power wall as you would in a car, he continued. So it's like, which one do you want to make? Will it be cars or power walls? So as a result, we need to produce cars, which will. Powerful manufacturing has been cut. Much of the slowdown isn't due to a lack of manufacturing capacity. Mr. Musk, for instance, also informed investors that cell supply and a global chip scarcity were causing output ceilings. Tesla has cut back on Powerwall production to keep churning out enough vehicles to break company delivery records. Nevertheless, the situation is serious enough that the Biden administration is convening a second meeting between semiconductor manufacturers and purchasers on Thursday to discuss the continuing effects on the technology and car industries. Though it would not be surprising if Biden again snubs Tesla as he has already done when meeting with automakers. Tesla appears to expect that the issue will be resolved in the near future. It has not previously announced the construction of a Megapack manufacturing site in Lathrop. While Tesla has progressed with this matter so much, there are too many questions still in place with the Cybertruck production. It is rumored that Samsung Electronics would manufacture Tesla's hardware for computers, which will debut in the Cybertruck. The world's largest chipmaker is expected to win the Tesla Hardware 4 contract over its larger rival, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC. For instance, some people allegedly familiar with the situation told the Korea Economic Daily this information. The transaction between Tesla and Samsung is almost closed, according to the publication sources. This will enable the South Korean chipmaker to increase its rapidly rising electric and autonomous vehicle market. Tesla and Samsung have had multiple conversations since the year 2021 began. As both parties agreed on the negotiation, the virtual deal was finalized. Since the beginning of this year, the foundry divisions of Tesla and Samsung have been working on the chip's design and samples. Tesla just chose Samsung to manufacture the hardware 4.0 cell driving processor. One of the publication's insiders added, it's almost a done deal. Tesla's hardware for chip would be manufactured at Samsung Electronics Wasong facility in South Korea. Likewise, Tesla's new FSD computer will be built on Samsung's 7 nanometer processing technology, with initial production starting in the fourth quarter of 2021 at the earliest. Samsung is also the manufacturer of Tesla's hardware 3 computer, which is currently found in Tesla Model S, Tesla Model 3, Tesla Model X, and Tesla Model Y. Even though 7 nanometer semiconductors are not as advanced as 5 nanometer chips, Samsung has chosen the technology to ensure higher and more consistent production yields. This indicates that Tesla's planning to create automobiles in unprecedented quantities and that the company's following models would be high volume vehicles. The first of these would most likely be the Tesla Cybertruck and the $25,000 automobile. Tesla and Samsung agreed on the 7 nanometer technique to ensure the safety of Tesla's next generation electric vehicles. Elon Musk introduced Tesla's hardware for computer at Tesla's AI Day, stating that the new cell driving computer would be released for the Cybertruck. While hardware 3.0 is anticipated to be 300% safer than a human driver, Mr. Moss claims that hardware 4.0 would likely be 1000% safer. I am convinced that hardware 3.0 or the FSD Computer 1 will be able to achieve full cell driving at a significantly higher degree of safety than a person, possibly 200-300% to 300 higher. 
a future hardware 4.0 or full self-driving computer 2 will be introduced with a Cybertruck maybe in a year. That will be four times more capable. But it's just going to be like, can we take it from, say, 300% safer than a person to 1000% safer? And just as there are persons on the road with various driving abilities, we continue to allow them to drive. To be on the road, you don't have to be the best driver in the world, Mr. Musk remarked.